we'll get into our brake barrel air rifle who includes everything you need for shooting you're looking for a gamo swarm maxim generation 2 with a low profile This Gamo Maxim Gen 2 is a caliber 177. This rifle count with a 19.9 .9 inch barrel, cocking a fort of 30 pounds. Synthetic Monte Carlo stock. The main idea of the Gen 2 is to keep the magazine flat on top of the barrel. In the Gen 1, the magazine was standing up on top of the barrel. This rifle weighed 5 pounds comes with a recoil reducing rail system. It comes with a IGT power plant or better known as a gas piston. With a reliable and durable 10x magazine which allows you 10 shots instead of fumbling around with a pellet between each shot. And they are very very easy to load. With numbers on the magazine, it shows you how many shots you got left, which is very convenient when you're out hunting. This magazine is very, very easy to install on the barrel. It's gonna give you a very nice click, that way you know your magazine is locked in. It comes with a compartment for the extra magazine, which is a very nice feature. I get my pellets on a straight shooters. They offering great delivery. To order, all you need to do is go online or call them. The link will be on the description. His dual stage trigger is a custom action trigger or a cat trigger, which only breaks at two pound 2.9 ounces from factory. The Maxim Whisper system makes this rifle very backyard friendly. Only 84.3 decibels. and 84.6 Let's start with the Gamo TS-10 The FX Raider app is giving us a hard time It doesn't want to give us any kind of voice readings I choose the best 3 pellet contenders at 30 yards More different pellets are gonna come in a future videos Gamo is claiming 1300 feet per second with an alloy pellet. I use a 6x6 piece of wood to hang my targets. Pay attention to the very last pellet. It went through the same hole and bounced back, getting stuck between the target and the wood. Now let's try the Gamo Armor 6.8 grains. It's winded down the range as you can see on the camera, but still this rifle is giving us great results. This rifle comes with a scope from Gamo 39 by 40 with a scope ring. It's very clear down the range. It's a shock proof so it's gonna hold for a long time. This Gamo Armor go all the way up to 1016 feet per second. This is another good pellet for this rifle. And the last, the best contender of these three. The Gamo Tomahawk is one of the best pellets for this rifle. 
very affordable, and comes with a tin of 750 rounds. This pellet creates great damage on a small pest, like birds, rats, chickmunks, and squirrels. This pellet is very similar to a gamma rocket. The only difference is this one it doesn't carry any copper BBs, so it's made full of lead. So if you put a quarter on top, it will cover the whole group. Remember the one on the corner, on your left, is the one that bounces back. The TS-10 is a good pellet for this rifle. Now let's check out the Gamma Armor. The Gamma Armor are very light pellets. If you put the nickel on top, you can cover the group and you have two flyers. Those two flyers can be me behind the trigger with a bad trigger pulling, or can be the wind. But it's still a very good pellet for this rifle. And the pellet that I found, which is the best for this rifle, is the Tomahawk 7.56 grain. As you can see, we can cover 4 shots under the dime, with only one flyer. This pellet is very affordable and very accurate for this rifle. So guys, how you already know, this rifle is great at 30 yards. All you need to do is insert the magazine, cock the rifle, and you're ready to shoot. For more information about this rifle, I'm gonna drop the link right on the comment section or by the description box. So guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you learned a lot about the Gamble Swarm Maxine Generation 2 low profile.